Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum, still doing a post-commentary. Last time, we got here to the Victory Road. And in this part, we will be heading into the Victory Road. This is the Pokemon I'm going to have with me, uh, and the eight gems that you'll be needing. Strength, Rock Smash, and Warfall, and Surf. You don't need Cut, but uh, uh, whatever. I, I had to have uh, someone in the in the boxes, but let's hit into the victory room. So we are finally here, and uh, I I recommend uh, Super Repels if you don't want to run into any wild encounters. Because in caves, that could, they could be quite annoying, if you know what I'm saying. And that is the way that we are actually uh, going to have to head if we want to uh, head the right direction. But there's a couple of ways you can go go about this. Like some side directions where there's items and such things like that. And psychics too. I'm a psychic! I can see your future! Well, that was not too bad. I see now you battled the lead four of the Pokemon League. <gasps> he is actually a psychic. At least I think. I think. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be fighting the lead four. Anyway, TM41 Torment, which basically uh, makes the opponent not able to use uh, the same move twice in a row. Anyway, let's head over here. Okay, that's that's a dead end. We can't head over there. Unfortunately, that's the case. Anyway. Let's uh, head back up this uh, rocky place here. Also, you need rock climb for this place, so you you need like five HMs for this place. So it's kind of good to have an HM slave with you, but the unfortunate thing about that is that you need to deposit one of your team members. I keep battling so I can soar ever, high, ever higher into the skies. Well, Return is definitely doing the uh, trick for me right now. Anyway, Max Repel right here. So this was a, yet another path, uh, alternate path. I highly recommend you take these alternate paths uh, so you can fight trainers and gain a lot of levels because they're quite high level in this place and they got uh, some uh, very some unique Pokemon that you don't that you don't see uh, th throughout most of your main adventure. So, if you want to get your Pokedex full, I highly recommend you fight all the trainers in here. That is going to help you immensely. Because some of the Pokemon in your Pokedex is only going to be found here by trainers in the Victory Road. Show me how you battle to get here. Let's do this! That was not too bad. I just destroyed her, really. Uh, Garuda, you are definitely doing some damage right now. Over here, we have a hidden nugget that we can sell for some money. Some money, money, money that we could potentially need. I don't know. Anyway, here we go. Some rocks to smash. And uh, yeah, thinking this through, I should probably have taken the uh, top. Top path first before I took this uh, down path, but uh, don't worry, I know that I'm going to take care of that uh, uh, top path uh, when I'm done down here. Let's see how to go about this without fighting the train. I don't think I don't think there's actually a way to go about this uh, to to not fight the trainer because I don't. Why am I breaking this rock? That I don't. I didn't even need to break that rock, but as you can see. That does not work. So what I did is just uh, head out of this uh, like part of the dungeon, then go back and uh, get back here and fight this trainer. 
You, one of you tells me you're a real contender! Yeah, because they are like pillow swines and uh, rampartises. I mean, those those Pokemon you don't see, you are not going to be seeing before you get here to the Victory Road. If you if you didn't decide to get yourself a, a ram rampart or a cranny dose. Uh. But anyway, let's go and fight this train over here. This whole train will be will be a good way to see if I have what it takes to own. The Pokemon League's Elite Roar! Well, I definitely think you had the right guts and the right Pokemon to do it with. I mean, she has a freaking club fable. How could she not win? I mean, come on. Start the train over here. Let me see how well your Pokemon can bow. Clayton! Don't do it, Clayton! Anyway, uh, that slam definitely hurt more than I would have hoped. But let's put Freeze in the front of the party. I had to use Return because I ran out of close combat. That's the unfortunate thing about close combat. It only has 5 PP. And that is actually the way that we're supposed to go. But I, but you have to go down uh, to get uh, to all the places here in this uh, floor here. Because you have to uh, push that boulder down. To uh, get over here, push that boulder all the way over to the right. Push that boulder and then break or it's not, not or break, smash the rock. Whole slavey break the rock like a man. And uh, over there we got an item, as you can see. We need uh, our bicycle, our bicycle to ride over at full max speed. And we got ourselves a forest store. Prairie probably going to be needing it uh, at the uh, Pokemon League. Probably, definitely, yes. I think. Anyway, it's, it's, it's going to be helpful. Uh, let's put... Yeah, let's have Bolt as our second... Uh, second member on our party. And let's fight these uh, two people there. I intend to per perfect my double battle technique. That will make me better all around. I want to improve my double technique as much as I can. That will improve me as a trainer. Why would you have a war pulse on a freaking ambipom? I don't get it. Come on. Come on, freeze. Why are you why are you dying all the all the time? I don't like that. Uh, anyway, let's get freeze uh, ba back to prim yeah, full health and let's get let's get Garuda back since uh, he, since uh, he's been hurt uh, a little a little bit too. Anyway, here we have our bicycle jump thing. And I forgot to cut out a spell, but whatever. I mean, we're gonna to, we're going to watch Freeze destroy everything with Earthquake. Haha, <laughs> that Magneton is just not going to stand a chance. Uh, usually I'm good with uh, editing, it, editing out the spells, but uh, I must have obviously forgot this one. Well, whatever you... You get to watch me destroy a magneton. 
And just look at that, I was just about to go up on the ramp, and then a wide freaking magneton appeared. Anyway, I'm gonna jump like that, and stop right there so we don't go overshoot it. And here we go, TM71 Stone Edge. You definitely want to go here because Stone Edge is a very good move. Now we gotta do this freaking thing. Yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, there we go. Should be able to do that since Emerald. God, the Sky Pillar. That was a pain in the butt to get through with the uh, bicycle, the mock pipe when you first tried to go through there. Anyway, now I'm going to uh, uh, head head up uh, head up over there. Push this boulder out of the way. Can go over here. Jump up, jump over here, so we don't have to move those boulders. Even though we have to do it either way when we. Uh, when we wanna head back. But whatever. Now we're back up here. Uh, where I said we were going to be going to before. So do I? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Spray the repels in front of any freaking magnetons. Put this folder. All the way over there. And now we gotta do this, which isn't too bad. There we go. Uh, gotta, gotta smash the rock. And now uh, we go into uh, the low, uh, the low gear on our uh, bicycle, so we can do a small jump and get over here and get ourselves a max elixir. Now we'll head back to where we just were, and here we are again to just uh, go down here. And now we're going in the right direction. Just uh, climb down here. Go head over in this general direction, and let's see. I know that there was a black belt up ahead, so I'm just going to put Garuda up in front, since uh, he is going to be able to do some major damage to black belts and their Pokemon. Since uh, he likes this, he likes this throwing fighting type Pokemon with his lacing and stuff. My Pokemon was got a day, I warn you. It's a tough one. Or Garuga can just destroy him with a fly that works. That works well too. Let's switch free to the front of the party since uh, he's the lowest level one right now. And now we are pretty much at the basement of the. Uh, or maybe not basement. Or we can call it basement because it's war everywhere. And oh, okay, that's a dead end. Okay, gonna keep that in mind to not jump down those ledges. Anyway, we got another psychic here. I'm a psychic! I can see you pass! Finally, I could use Shadow Ball on Flora God. Haven't been able to use that one too much. And, well, encounter. Freaking level 50 float souls. Jeez, and I uh, had uh, Freeze at, at the front of the party too, so he got kind of hurt in that battle, fortunately. But the good thing we all of the we have all of these uh, Momo milks and lemonades and lava cookies and all that stuff, or else this place would be pretty tough. But I want to put uh, Flora in the front of the party, just in case run I run into more uh, Float Souls, because uh, Flora is probably going to be able to deal with uh, Float Souls more or e easily, easier than uh, um, Freeze. And over here we get ourselves TM59 Dragon Pulse, which is like the opposite of Dragon Claw. It's a, sp it's a special Dragon type move. Pretty good move if you have any. Uh, Special attacking dragon type Pokemon. Like maybe Giratina, if you decide to bring uh, Giratina with you. I don't know what else you would really want to give uh, Dragon Pulse, but Dragon Pulse, very good move when you can learn a Pokemon that. I take Pokemon that are tough to begin with and toughen up even more! You can help me!
Why would I want to give uh, give uh, freeze mist? I mean, mist is not a very good move. Not a very good move at all. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, go over here and oh, okay, that just makes us go back to the beginning. And that is, I, pr I probably should have uh, gone down there. That is actually the way that we're supposed to go up. But, yes, yeah, you can see here, this is the, actually the final floor of uh, the Victory Road. But, let's head back. And we're back he here. As I said, I could probably just jump down the ledge and it would have been easier for me. But I just wanted to see what was over there. Victory Road, some of my my journey is now coming to an end. But, before the final shove is written, I must pen your death defeat! My defeat! You didn't even stand a freaking chance in the world! Anyway, we got an Ultra Ball here. Very, very good. Uh, let's see, who do I want to have in the front of the party? Uh, let's switch our action to the front. And do I know? That, that seems to be pretty good. Actually, I actually think there is a double bell up ahead, uh, if I remember correctly. And uh, we got an item over here, and there is a double bell up ahead. So I was right, and not just because I was editing the video, but yeah, I kind of fear. Uh, now do I? It's kind of a tough choice. Uh, who do I? Uh, let's have Bolt and Arashi and see what they can do. It's probably not the best double battle combo in the world, but let's see what we can do. It's a double team of aces. We're gonna overwhelm you. We form a combination that's in perfect sync. How do you expect to counter that? How did I not expect that Rapid Earth to have Fire Blast, or a f or for that matter, a f fire, to fire type move in general? I don't know, that, that was silly. Silly of me to believe, believe that. Don't stop believing! Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and heal up uh, our Pokemon to pretty much uh, full health now. Like freeze, I mean, some of my Pokemon got really beat up in that battle, especially Bolt when he was taken up by a fire blast. Oh well. Let's see what I got now. Um, I think I'm looking for something, but I know why I'm what I'm looking for. Uh oh yeah, I was looking for e ethers, but I only had a max ether, so or max ether, so yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm probably not going to use them that much for the rest of this uh, this adventure, so might as well just use up one. I mean, why not? And here we go, rare candy! Hooray! Now let's head back to uh, the place that we're supposed to go. And right here we have a heart scale. And now we're back here, surfing over. And uh, no hidden no no hidden items in the rocks of co of course but this is the final floor actually of trainers so let's go and fight this uh, veteran over here spoil guy I can sense that your Pokemon have a lot of trust in you you and your Pokemon seem to be a glow. Oh yeah, Nagaruda is even more powerful! 
because Garuda now has Bray Bird, which is 120 base power, but it will deal uh, re recall damage to you whenever you use it, but it's, it's definitely better than uh, Takedown, which I had before. It was like 85 base power or something. And Bray Bird is double the power of Aerial Ace, even though Aerial Ace has that chance of, uh, or uh, will always hit no matter what. It's always nice having some more, like, oomph in your attacks, if you know what I'm saying. So now, let's head over here. Oh, it's an item over there. But first, we go up here because at the end of this long bridge, we have a place to go in. And there's an item waiting for us, if I remember correctly. This is a very good item, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to... Uh, Make any use out of it, unfortunately. But anyway, we push this boulders out of the way. We got TM79 Dark Paws. As I said, very good move, has a chance of flinching. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use it on any of my Pokemon. I know I know it's unfortunate, but uh, we're not going. <laughs> I, mean, oh, I don't know. Anyway, there was an there was there was an item over in that general direction uh, we saw before. So let's over, head over there, or, or, I think I actually completely forgot to grab that item. But uh, the item is going to be on screen, what it actually is. I mean, you saw it before, I saw it before, so. Anyway, we have a sink, and that guy is going to be blocking way. You can't go there until uh, the after game, so just keep that in mind. You can't do anything about that yet. So, anyway, yeah, I completely forget about that item. But, uh, as I said, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, head up here. And fight the final trainer here in Victor Road, actually. This is a place where tough trainers naturally congregate. It's ideal for training. Huh, Clinton. Huh, I wonder if your first name is Bill, but here it is! We have finally reached it, the end of the Victor Road. And here we are, at the Pokemon League. Oh man, we're finally here. And no freaking hidden items here, which I wish there would have been a couple of, uh, like a few hidden items there. The Pinnacle of Trainerdom. And the same thing on the other side here. Anyway, here's the warfall that we saw from the binoculars in Sunny Shore City. So, let's go ahead and head up and climb it. And here it is. The Pokemon League. Woo, that was a long trip. That was, that was quite a bit of uh, trainer bells there. So now that we are here at the Pokemon League, let's go ahead and... Uh, which uh, Amaterasu back in the front of, or not in the front of the party, but back in the party, so. So Slavey has to be put to rest, not be put to sleep, but put to rest, yeah, you know what I mean. And now let's go ahead and uh, heal up, uh, heal up uh, our Pokemon back to full health. Because uh, later we are going to be taking on the Pokemon League. I can't believe we are already here, I know... I, I know it has probably taken a while for the videos to come out, but jeez, it just feels that these uh, last couple of parts has just come and came and just came and went. Ah, uh, anyway, uh, what I like to do here is buy quite a few items. Actually, I mean we have five hundred thousand Poké dollars. Why not frigging use them? I mean we're not going to use them on anything else, pretty much. So let's buy ten Forest Doors. And I like to buy as many revives as I have uh, Hyper Potions, so 50 of them, very very good. And I have Lava Cookies, so I don't need to buy uh, full heals. So yeah, thank you, come again. Anyway, let's see, who do I want to have in, up in front? Ilea Arashi seems to be a good choice. So it's gonna take on- oh wait! All that didn't go off without me? You're challenging the Pokemon League, aren't you? That's why I'm here too. Let's see who's more worthy of making a challenge with a battle! So yeah, let's do this! Our final battle with Dave! Here it is! 
Dave is going to start with a Star Raptor, level 48, normal flying type, double the Intimidate. With the most close combat, Aerial is Steel Ring and U Turn. A Star Raptor is always going to be on his team, and you know how powerful Star Raptor is and he uses U Turn. Of course, basically, it makes, it makes damage to the opponent and then he switches out. See, he's going to bring in his Rose Ray, level 47, Grass Poison type with ability Natural Cure. With the most Giga Drain, Grass Result, Shadow Ball, and Poison you have. Well, that was actually a pretty good switch because I decided to go with the uh, Ice Beam, and that does a lot of damage. Hopefully, that Rose Ray won't hit. Ah, ah, you missed Grass Result. Ah. Anyway, he is going to have uh, Rose Raid on his team if you started with Turtwig and if you started with uh, Chimchar. Anyway, he's going to bring in his Star Raptor back ag again. Of course. And it's going to intimidate me, even though it doesn't really matter at all since Arash is a special attacker and not a physical attacker. But let's see. Let's go for a. Uh, I don't know what I want to go for. Let's try an Ice Beam again and see what happens. Or he can just U turn again. Yeah. Of course he goes for freaking U turn again. Uh, anyway, now he's going to bring in his Rapid Arch level 47, Fire Type with double D, Runaway with the most Fire Blast, Sunny Day, Bounce, and Will Wisp. I wish I wish I would have gone for a uh, for a Surf Bounce. I why would he bring in a Rapid Arch? That doesn't even have a very good moveset against Arashi. Or okay, he can just bounce up in the air. Oh, let's just try it. Yeah, he missed Bounce. Very very good. Surf Surf Dash Rapid Arch. Just just Surf it out of there. Anyway, he's going to have uh, Rapid Rush on his team if he started with Chimchar and if he started with Pipla. And, uh, let's see. Next up on his roster, it's going to be freaking Star Raptor again. She brings it for third time. Ah, uh, I wonder, is he going to U turn again? I mean, that is very suspicious that he keeps bringing that freaking Star Raptor. It's just like the, that Wild Chase guy. Oh, that's like the U turn everything. You're turning everything, of course, since 19, since 2009. Anyway, now he's going to bring his Snorlax level 49, normal type, with double T immunity, with the most body slam, crunch, earthquake, and rest. Uh, Snorlax is a very good Pokemon, actually. Very good special defense, uh, very good HP, very high HP, and very high attack, too. And, it, and his Snorlax actually has a pretty good moveset. If you manage to hit it down uh, uh, very low, he can potentially use the rest, so it's not very fun if he decides to do that. And also, uh, Body Slam can uh, paralyze you, so you will probably be slower than Snorlax. And also because of the ability immunity, uh, Snorlax cannot be poisoned, so don't try to use Toxic. Or any or poison gas or anything like that because it's not going to work on Snorlax, and hopefully this body line won't do too much damage because I've got one minus defense now. Okay, it's not too bad. Ooh, he doesn't use a hyper potion or full restore or any heal, any he healing out of for that matter. I've just gained a lot more respect for you, Dave. A lot more respect, respect, man. Anyway, now he's going to bring in his Heracross level 48, bug fighting type with the swarm. With the moves, aerial is close combat, nice slash, and rock slide, and also something that I forgot to mention is he's always going to have a Snorlax and a Heracross on his team. Uh, the other, the other Pokemon that he's always going to have a Star after Heracross and Snorlax on his team. Brain burn everything. Uh, but the other three Pokemon depends on what starter you have. You had, and oh, he survived with four HP from the recoil. Oh yeah, Heracross is four times weak against the uh, four times weak against flying type moves, so that is very good uh, to use against the uh, against Heracross. Anyway, now he's going to bring in Star Raptor back again. Is this like the fourth time uh, this Star Raptor has been out? I mean, jeez, come on! And now he's going to close combat me. I was kind of expecting that, but I just wanted to have Bolt out because. I'm positive that Bolt is going to be able to take this. Yeah, he took this close combat. Not very well, but uh, Bolt still survived and uh, got off the Thunderbolt, which is the uh, main point of why I wanted to bring in uh, Bolt. 
and the raptor goes down, of course. I mean, it had one, minus one special offense, so of course it was going to go down. Anyway, you know, it's going to bring in his main Pokemon, his Empoleon level 51 War Steel type, with the ability Torrent, holding a Citrus Berry, with the moves Brine, Metal Claw, Aerial Lace, and Shadow Claw. I fully believe in this last one. I have no reason to freak out. No reason at all. Anyway, if you start with Turtwig, he's going to have an Infernape level 51 Fire Fighting type with the ability Blaze, holding a Citrus Berry, with the most Focus Blast, Shadow Claw, Flamethrower, and Aerial Ice. And if you start with Piplop, he's going to have a Torterra level 51 Grass Ground type with the ability Overgrow, holding a Citrus Berry, with the most Leaf Storm, Earthquake, Crunch, and Synthesis. And also, if you decided to start with either Turtwig or Piplop, he is going to have a Flu Soul level 47 War type with the ability Swift Swim, with the most Aqua Jet, Crunch, Ice Fang, and Brick Ray. That was quite a bit of moves, actually. So yeah, he will always have a Fire, a War type, and a Grass type on his team, depending on what starter you had. If you have Turtwig, he's going to have Flux Soul, Rose Rain, and Infernape. If you start with Chimchar, he's going to have Rapidash, Rose Rain, and Empoleon. And CLOSE COMBAT! Yeah, even though my starter is actually weak to you, I have a super effective stab move. What's up, Dave? What's up? And if you, if, if you start with Piplop, he's going to have Rapidash, Float Soul, and Torterra. So yeah, we defeated Dave. And he, I mean, I just destroyed him. Which just went down. My team still needs racing. Yeah. They need a lot more racing. I guess I'm not ready for the Pokemon League if I'm losing to you. Darn it, you watch though. I'll get tougher and win my way through the Pokemon League. Because I'm going to become the champion. The toughest trainer. Emily, you better not lose to anyone before me. I promise, Dave. I promise. And with that, we're going to be healing up our Pokemon. And then, next time, on Pokemon Platinum. We will be facing the Pokemon League or we'll enter start challenging it anyway I will see you guys next time or sorry I completely forgot that uh, I wanted to give Freeza rare candy so so it doesn't feel uh, outside everyone else I mean everyone is a level 49 now but I will see you guys next time for a Pokemon League. Goodbye!